understand that. Baby, one time, one time. She's got to be. Lego! Lego! Passing the prize. Them girls, them I come, them I feel alive. But it was all simple And trust it was easy But it was all simple And love it was easy When you won my heart No, I will never forget Cause when the storm's out On the ocean When the violent wind Gets to blow and oh, take me back, back, all the way back. Oh, take me back to my first love. I love me some Maverick City music. I just wanna be with you. Sometimes I find myself feeling distant I don't like it, am I tripping? Cause I'm a Christian Why do I feel like this? I'm feeling kind of distant, Lord And I'm crying out for more oh, I'm feeling kind of distant Lord. I'm crying out for more oh, I'm feeling like I need to release all these thoughts that make me feel like I am so lost the enemy Trying to tell me that I ain't got what I need to be where I wanna be. God, I need, I need you, Lord. I'm on my knees on my floor. No, I've tried it all, Jesus. Still feels like there's something missing Cause you're where I wanna be Sometimes I find myself feeling distant I don't like it, am I tripping? Cause I'm a Christian, why should I feel like this? I'm feeling kinda distant sun just in my face. I was going to film because I do have a piece of content due today for a campaign, but the sun is in my face, which is going to ruin my whole entire situation. Let me show you. So I actually have to wait. So the sun that glares up top there, beautiful, but it's a problem. So the sun coming through here is fine. It's just right up there that's a problem. So when that happens to me during the morning, I have to postpone my filming until it moves away or goes down or does something. So I'm gonna edit while I wait for this to go down so I can continue. I'm actually using this time to respond to my YouTube messages that I have not responded to in quite a while. Last week, however, I did catch up on my IG messages, which is fantastic. 
okay? Because I've told you time and time again that it's just too much work and unreasonable for me to respond to my IG message, my comments every day. I'm responding to my YouTube comments right now while I wait for the sun. But I, I want to talk about comments for a second. I obviously enjoy what I do. All of us, many of us enjoy what we do. Those of us who are content creators slash influencers. The two are not the same, but they can overlap and we can discuss that another time. I do, however, want to note a few things. I love the comments from those of you who are just saying funny things. I think it's just fantastic. It's fun. It's funny, right? And I'm going to show you the raw video of me just responding. It's fun. It just makes it fun and funny. It is, however, irritating when people take the time out of their day to comment something that is not nice. Now, that is not to say that we content creators expect for everyone to love what we do and to make us feel good. I don't do this job to be made to feel good. I get myself to feel good when I sit with Jesus, when I worship and when I find out who he says I am. I feel good. So I don't find my worth online. I do this because I love it. And I do this because I know that God has called me to do it. So that aside, it is really irritating when people take the time out of their lives and out of their day to point out something about either who they're watching or the video that they don't like. There are many, many occasions where I come across a video or piece of content that I don't like. And what I do, because I've grown to be a much more emotionally mature person than I used to be, is I just move on. I might unfollow, I might block the video, you know, any number of things. But I do not come in and say, oh, that's ridiculous. That's hideous. That concealer is far too light. What are you talking about? I can't stand the way you said this or whatever it is. To me, it's quite problematic when people do that because it shows a lack of maturity because I don't believe that I need to say everything about people that I don't like. And I also don't believe that because content creators put their content out there for the con for public consumption, that it is up to the public to slice and dice it however they feel. I do believe that people need to really be mindful about how they are interacting with others and making sure that what they're saying or doing isn't too real. I'm keeping it real. I just, I just, I'm cut though with it. I just go right to it. That's cool and that's cute. But the fact of the matter is, as a content creator, what I'm trying to get at is that it's irritating. You know, I don't get that often because I've, this is what I wanted to get to as well, I've blocked certain comments, certain words, certain phrases, because I don't have much capacity to deal with the foolery. Okay, so on IG and on YouTube, I'm not active on Twitter or Facebook. So on IG and on YouTube, in the settings, we are allowed, thank Jehovah, to block certain words and comments, phrases, okay? And I have taken prime advantage of that. In fact, every now and again, I go back in and do a little edit, you know, adding in more words and phrases that I feel and that are in fact problematic. So if, there, if you're listening and you're a content creator, I encourage you to go into your settings and look for comments, search in Instagram settings, comments, and then in YouTube, I forget where it is, it's also comments, and you can block certain words and phrases. I don't believe that because we are public figures or because we have our lives on the internet that we are supposed to be a dumping ground for other people's trash. That is not what I signed up for. I put a lot of hard work into my content and my brand and I'm not for everyone. And it's not like I've been torn down by anybody because again, I block a lot of things so I don't even see. And you might be thinking, well, they can still leave comments. Absolutely. A mean, hateful, miserable person can still leave comments, be it outright vile or be it subtly shady. But the only person that sees their comment is that writer. So they might think, oh yeah, I got her, I told her. Good for you, honey. I haven't seen your comment, nor has anyone on my platform. The words that you've used and the phrases that you've used are blocked. And whenever I spot, I don't catch it all, but for the most part, if I spot it, I'm gonna block the person and or block those words. 
so that that kind of stuff isn't sitting and festering around on my platform. So I encourage you creators to take advantage of blocking those kinds of things. It is just really important to have the mind control to be able to pour out and to do this job that we love to do. It's very difficult to do it when feeling like people are just wreaking havoc all over, crapping all over what you're doing, okay? To be frank, I got a lid on my trash. The trash that some people like to deposit on my stuff, there's a lid on it. But every now and then, depending on how somebody writes it, it slides through, you know? I used to respond, but I don't no more, really. Kind of. <laughs> Sometimes it really does. It's really tempting. And I'm human. You know, people like to say, oh, just ignore it. That's easy to say. <laughs> let it be you. And you let me know how you're going to respond. It takes a lot of deep-seated unhappiness within to say, you know what? I don't like X, Y, and Z about what I'm looking at. And I'm going to let her know. It's like, my question is to you, are you okay? And as you're looking through your comments and you're commenting, as, you, as you're seeing certain things, go back in and add. Go back in and add some keywords. Go back in and add key phrases. Oh my God. Oh, this is atrocious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so Too Faced sent me these lip injection, lip, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, why, why? Wow. Okay, Too Faced sent these lip injection lip glosses and they look so beautiful. The colors look so beautiful. <sighs> This one's called Just a Girl Power Plumping Gloss Jesus of Nazareth. Wow. <gasps> Is this supposed to be okay? Like you put a lip plumping <sighs> oh my God. product on your lip. People like this? People like this? Oh my God. Oh, I hate this. Oh my goodness gracious. This is the second time that I've tried a lip pump plumping product. Never again, never again. There's nothing about this that I enjoyed. I mean, is there menthol in that? Peppermint? Is that what it is? Have you ever used a lip plumping product? When I put it on at first, it was easy sailing. It was no big deal, but the devil. And there are so many of these. Let me show you. Is it gonna go in a giveaway? <laughs> And if you get these, bless your heart. It says it right on it. Yeah, fuchsia is just not for me. What color is this? It took off my lip primer. Oh, but this is a, this is a satin. Oh my God, no! Look at my lip blood. Oh my God, no! Yo, this is why I hate when you get your lip mix, your lip mixed up. It just ruins things. Look at that. <laughs> it just ruins things when you want to try to go back. Oh no! This is Maven sus. This would be good. It's just the outside is really not judging it the way I need it to. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, no. Okay, let's start from scratch. This is atrocious right now. Interestingly enough, I was in bed last night saying, and I wrote down that I'm going to do a nude lip swatch video of my favorite nude lip combos. You're going to see me do one of them right now. So leftover foundation on the brush. And then I like to get up top here. So... This is CoverGirl True Blend. This is very Pickington. Super stunner. Oh, and this is my basic everyday makeup look in case you're like, uh, what? Excuse me, what look is this? It's my basic everyday look. It's on IGTV. It's here on YouTube. It's everywhere, okay? Everywhere where you can stream your podcasts. <laughs> About to get one of my nude faves right now. Lip Bar Savage and Fenty Up to No Good. So here we go. I really need to put the mirror in front of me. Hello. So focus it on the outside, although I did put too much on the middle. It's just, I'm just, I'm just a little bit all over the place right now. Just a smidge, you know, just a little. <laughs> I went in more than usual, but here we are. Focus it in the middle. Oop. Hit and then blot. But blot strategically, okay? You gotta bring in the sides. I mean, I always do this, so of course I did that very quickly, but with practice, you'll be able to do the same. <laughs> okay. I wanted to do a gloss today, but this is gonna have to just do. And I did not spray my face. I don't normally spray my face, although I can, I should, I could, but I don't feel like it. I'm back home. Went to soccer. I'm watching Ohima, Ohima Bunsu on YouTube. My face is matte oily. I just like to use this Urban Decay powder, even though I cannot believe that they discontinued this. I don't know what that's about, but this is so good. I have two of these and you better believe I'm gonna finish it. MAC has one like this. It works the same, so if you're looking for that, I'll link it below as a dupe. My lip came off because I was eating a salad and I was, I just didn't care. My lip usually does not come off. This one came off. I could have touched it up, but we had to wear a mask at soccer practice, so I just said, screw that. Yes, I ordered another selfie tripod stick. I have one that I use here at home and then I have one in my suitcase. I don't know about, hey, this, this is a different one. Oh God, this is like very uh, different. 
than the one I have at home. It's very unique, very different. Oh, wow, this is like very unique and different. Okay, so this is how we are, and the phone goes here. Okay, and it can turn, fantastic. And then it has a, the remote, Bluetooth remote, fantastic. I thought I bought the same one, but I didn't. But that's okay, it collapses, okay? So I like to keep all of my, I have doubles of my tech and makeup and my toiletries and my everything in my suitcase. I have a carry-on and I have a regular suitcase that I keep packed so that when I travel somewhere, because my goal this year and years to come is to travel once every quarter. So I keep my bag 80% packed. So when it's time to go somewhere, all I'm packing are my clothes. I got this extra selfie stick to use to vlog. Hello, this is pretty cool. They have the legs. Did I show you the legs? Okay, here we have the leggy, and obviously it expands and goes to great, it goes to great lengths, nice and stiff, so it's not sliding. So good, when I'm, when I'm traveling next month and y'all will come along with me, I can take you with me with my handy dandy selfie stick. I also got these, Aaliyah's face. She talked about these in her Amazon haul and I thought they were amazing. Listen, we were in Jamaica and they did not carry straws. I don't like to drink from glasses. I don't know where your glass has been. I just have a problem with that. Like I don't walk barefoot. I don't like to, I just can't, you know? <sighs> I barely do barefoot at home. Like it's a problem for me. So anyway, I saw that she talked about these gla these straws and I have been buying reusable straws at home. I use straws on every drink that I drink, like my water glass, you know? So now I stop buying the plastic straws and I do these. And of course it has the little brush to clean it. But what I loved about it is it has this travel case. So what I'm gonna do is take my own straws because I can't be out here in these streets without a straw you know, on these resorts and things. So I'm going to keep these at home. You've got the straight ones and you've got the angled ones and the brush. And then I'm going to take my own straws with me when I travel the world. I thought this was rose gold. This looks like regular gold, but they're so cute nonetheless. Love these for me and love these for you. Leah also talked about these. <laughs> and I had a few from Home Good. They broke. I'm rough. They broke. Okay. But I'm glad to have these. She said these were big. Wow. She was right. Oh, yeah. This is, oh, this is bigger than what I had. She said it was as big as her face. And she's not lying. Look at this. Cold drinks, hot drinks, you name it. Throw your straw in it or do it without the straw because you're at home. And then there you go. Be very careful when you're washing it. You know, I bought more of these because I always drink my water in these 32 ounce tumblers, double layered as well. I need to have water everywhere I go. I need to drink more water and I'm sick and tired of being like, what's my water bottle? Like when I come in the studio early in the morning or whatever it is, if there's no water in here, it doesn't matter. I can sit here for three hours and be doing stuff and I'd be like, I'm mad thirsty, why? There's no water in front of me and I will not get up and go get it if I'm in the groove of what I'm doing. So having a water like I plan on leaving a water at my nightstand, in the kitchen, in the studio, uh, and in the bathroom. Our counter is separate from the toilet, so it's not gonna be like gross. You know, you flush the particles get places. It ain't gonna be that kind of situation. The toilet the toilet area does have a door. So I plan on leaving this water bottle full in all of those areas. Wagwan, today is Tuesday. Are we already in Tuesday? This is my my uh situation, you know. We already know how that goes. Look what came in the mail from Dubai. Huda beauty. Every time I say Huda, I wanna say Huda 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 like I think of a I don't know if I'm thinking of an Afrobeat song, something just hilarious. Anyway, this color is lava cake. We've also got hot fudge. I believe I had the same colors in the stick. And then this one is ganache. I did, I had the same colors in the stick. And I ended up using ganache, but now I'm concerned. I don't know. I feel like ganache was red. I still have them, don't I? I still have them. I used lava cake to contour. I'm currently using lava cake to contour. All right, so 590R, 550R, 560R. I look forward to using these. If you want to see a video review on these, let your girl know. This is luminous matte, and we'll discuss it in the video. Luminous matte, I imagine, means satin. It's not going to be matte, matte, like Fenty Faux Filter Soft Matte, but it ain't going to be dewy, dewy, like... What was it? Bare Minerals something something. So this I imagine is going to be satin in between. All right, Luminous Faux Filter. Looking forward to that. I'll let your girl let me know what it is. All my friends pulled up for good vibes. We know that the good vibes could mean go to some. We ain't trying to live forever. Just live it up. Baby, I know life's better. When I'm with you. Cause one day there won't be no one around And I wanna love 
trip coming up in three weeks. I cannot wait and you'll be seeing, you know, I'll be taking you with me on the whole thing. It's gonna be so fun. And I ordered for the first time from Shein. Have y'all ever ordered from Shein before? I hope this is not gonna be an absolute fail. I didn't realize that they had a plus section. I always felt like their stuff wasn't gonna fit me. Oh wow, everything can't be returned, okay. <laughs> good to know i'm just reading here good to know all right well they're really affordable i hope they fit me i got one xl which is a us 14 according to them let me say it my 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 okay so i'm torn right now i'm torn right now i'm torn right now so my day got a little bit shifted because a little bit of something it got shifted you know what i'm saying so the shift didn't happen and then it shifted and it got shifty so just adjust it that's not my way <laughs> I lay her out like that so that I there's no way I can forget there's no way I can forget because wherever I turn I see it it's on the table just laid out like a dead fish so it's just there as a reminder anyway anyway I laid down my edges today bless the Lord it's Wednesday I laid down my edges my intention was to film I had some other stuff to do but it got pushed and mushed and now that's what that is. I'm tired. I really would like to rest. I got up at six, which is late. I get up at six, I'm in a frenzy. It's like, oh, what's going on with life? Four or five is much more peaceful for me because then nobody's awake. Six, I'm counting down the time till me comes bursting through the door because he gets up by seven. That's just what our, our routine is because when I was working in the office, I was working at 7.30 a.m. and I would have to leave him at 6.30 a.m. to bring him to school and then get to work. And if I was doing my makeup, which I did every single day, I like to do my makeup, I like to look put together. So with my makeup done, that meant I was getting up. So to leave home by 6.30, sometimes 6.45, I was getting up usually 4 4 35 5 was rushing at 5 30 i'm really rushing it like you know just imagine then i wanted to work out good morning wagwan i'm going to get body cavitation today okay i have heard so much about this and i know people who've done it and they've had awesome results <laughs> so i'm about to go and get my body cavitated you know what i'm saying i don't want a tummy tuck and i mean i at least don't want it i don't want it right now either so I'm gonna get this done. I hope that it works because if it don't work, like what? I don't feel like I have to be sentenced to having this bubble pouch on my stomach. It's a non-invasive procedure and there's no downtime apparently. I hear that it does hurt. This lady does it in one session, whereas I've seen other people do several sessions to get their results. So I don't know what she does. I don't know what kind of magic she got going on over there or what her procedure is, but it sounds very peculiar. And I'm looking forward to some, I'm looking forward to the results. Tell me, I'm not the size I want to be. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm not going to continue on my on my weight loss journey i'm certainly going to continue for me it's a weight loss lifestyle i want to be healthy happy energized i mean i know that with weight loss it'll go down but i don't want to wait i don't want to wait i don't want to wait i'm doing it now it's not very expensive so i'm just doing what i feel like doing <laughs> Okay, so, so exciting. Yo, I can already feel my stomach down. It already feels like it's down. So let me tell you what's going on. Okay, so she doesn't allow recording, which I understand because people people been playing her and all of this. So, you know, I get it. She's got to protect her brand and her proprietary information and all of that. So, we had such a great conversation. We were talking the whole time. And I can't lie, a little bit a little part of me was nervous like, yo, am I going to waste my money? Like what's going on right now, right? Okay, so I have results right now, right? However, I'm gonna have even more results after I go do this colon cleanse. I don't believe that I've ever done a colon cleanse. She told me I'm gonna go to the drugstore and pick that up. I'm also gonna be continuing my water, my one to two to three liters of water a day. So that's four or six, four to six of my containers that I have at home. And yesterday I drank two 
before lunchtime and I like I mean I had to be intentional about it but I was able to do it I was like oh this is doable if I keep on remembering telling myself drink your water drink your water uh, eat clean for the next six days nothing greasy she said yes wow I it wasn't painful at all I was just laying there the only thing that's weird is when the cavitation machine comes on. Wow, the radio frequency in your brain, it's like, what? I mean, it, it, like, I can't explain it. She has to explain it to you. So I need to drink a lot of water because the fat is going to flush through my lymphatic system. I cannot wait. Girl, it was so easy and she was so nice. I'm gonna put the pictures here again for you to see. Do you understand what this means? For the longest time, I've lived with a stomach that makes me look like I'm four months pregnant. Who wants to look like that? I got a trip coming up in three weeks and I'm gonna be acting up. Like y'all say in Texas, I'm gonna be cutting up. One, okay, we are home. We've been home actually. Do my makeup, okay. This lip, oop, a little tangled. This lip is the Lip Bar Savage and In Vogue by Juvia's Place. You can see it better this way. I recreated this look on IG, so now it's on Reels and IGTV. I'm about to do a campaign. It's an IG Live today with the nail company Dashing Diva. I'm gonna be putting these nails on. I look forward to it because obviously I need to do my nails. Hello. Oop, look at my vacuum. <laughs> It's actually a good vacuum though, I'll link it too. I like it because it's cordless and it, it moves and turns and you can get underneath the couch and stuff. That wasn't meant to be there, but it's here, so I'm like, how's it going? Thank you for having me, I'm excited. So I stumbled into makeup because I actually have rosacea. Thank you. Me yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You know how you would do a brand, well, I don't know if you know, but I did a brand uh, situation uh, thing campaign with Fresh Beauty and I knew that they were coming out with a new product. It's a new limited limited edition, I can't even talk, limited edition cleanser. So, on, oh my bad, I'm die. shoot, I'll talk fast. We did this last year so it wasn't on my mind and I knew that it was launching now. So one of my audience, one of, one of y'all, one of my sisters told me that they got an email newsletter and I was in the newsletter and she screenshotted it and I was like, what? And I mean, I knew that this would happen, but again, it just wasn't on my mind. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that is so amazing. So just now I was like, you know what? Let me go on the site and let me see if my picture is there. Is show enough is there. And this is so weird. This is so amazing. I don't even know what to say. Like, do you understand that? On the website is me, Minna. Minna Dubia. Battery died. It's a picture of me, Minna Dubia. Can you imagine? Oh my God. This is a big deal. Okay. Minna from Pataki Road Island, Beshe. Yeah, they have two websites in So can you imagine? Can you imagine? I am just like, let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, oh my gosh. So this is Fresh Beauty's website. <laughs> so this is the product. <gasps> oh, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Ah! Cry. Oh my god, it's me! That is me! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's me! Oh my gosh, this is so amazing! My, my, I got SPF on my face. Now I look crazy. It's just so touching. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's just all, wow, my contacts are all fuzzy now. It's just all so surreal. This is me. On an international brand website, do you understand what this means? Do you understand what this means? Oh my God, I'm so grateful. I just, I just thank God. I just, wow. I, I'm gonna send this to my mom. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna send this to her. I work so hard, right? Us content creators work so hard. So to just see myself on online like that, it's like, what? You know, like what? Ugh. Oh my God, wait. I'm here. I'm here too. Oh my god, I'm also here on Sephora's website. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh my god. Oh. oh wow, look at that. It's me. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, whenever, when I was in college and I would get certain accolades, you know, like certificates and things like that, my mom would be so happy. She would, you know, she would want a copy of everything. And even still till now, she has them, you know, on her mantle at home, just like, you know, a little like whatever ledge at home in the living room, all kind, all like our pictures, our college degrees, everything. And like, this is just, this is a big deal, you know? Ah. <laughs> Ooh, am I a model now? You know, am I a skincare model? Like, what is it? What are we doing? You know, all the brands that I work with, I'm grateful for. I'm grateful to work with. I'm grateful to work for. I'm grateful to work alongside. I'm just so shocked. I, to me, this is a big deal. Okay, someone like me, this is a big deal. God of mercy, God of the universe, God of all the ads. I am so, 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 so grateful I'm heading. I had me tia me. My eyes are clearing up a little bit. My face feels dry because I had to wipe it from the tears. I gotta put my wig on. Thank you, Jesus. Hey guys, my name is Jessica Miller. You've been wondering where I am. I was on vacation with my with 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 my niece, the sorry, I mean to I can't even talk. You can't even talk. So you know what I'm talking about, girl. So let's get let's get kicking this off and put the wig on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take this off and do what? <laughs> put the wig on. The day? Now that we've got our hair down and cool. I don't wear wigs, Turtle. I don't wear wigs. Wait, but then what's that on you right now? This is my hair. Let's print your um, face with um, face paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can decorate it. Turtle, where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? From you. From who? You. Me. Okay, let's just skip this part. Okay, guys. What? Uh, where did you learn that? Eggs and honey? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, girlfriend. People, sixty thousand for Juju, twenty Come thousand on. for Shani. I, I want three hundred, um, three hundred dollars. Three hundred thousand. I'm watching Fumi Ford on IG. I found her on Clubhouse. Yo, she's 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 just bold. I love it. And she start, she did an IG live. I missed it, but I'm watching the playback. Yo, she's letting us know some things. Come on, Fumi. We listen. We are declaring. I already declared it. I'm making. You know what? Even my the number I declared is even too is even too small. I said I wanted to make one fifty one hundred fifty thousand dollars this year. I'm going up to two fifty. My goal this year is to make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars this year. And I declare and I decree that it is going to happen in the name of Jesus. I'm just saying, I don't know about you. Put it in the, in the comment. What are you declaring that you're gonna make this year? The same boat, I'm taking pictures of my 120,000, I love that, 60,000. So now that you know what you want, how how are you gonna get How are you gonna to get it? Where you want it? We know that the goodbyes could be gone to some. We ain't trying to live forever. Just live it up. Baby, I know life's better When I'm with ya We ain't tryna live for Okay Hey, whole gang go up when it's sundown Let this song play while I dance